modal verbs are helping verbs that are used with the main verbs to express different meanings and intentions by the speaker. They are used to express ability, possibility, permission, obligation, suggestion, necessity, compulsion, promise or request. Today, we will learn about modal verbs which show or express ability. When we say, I play football, play is telling us about a fact. It is a general statement that I usually play football. But if it is said, I can play football, can is the modal verb which is working with the main verb play to express something different. What does it express? It expresses an ability that this boy has to play football and it is expressing the ability in the present time. If he says, I cannot play football, then he is expressing his inability that he cannot play football. That is also in the present. So, cannot is the modal verb which is expressing the inability. When we add not to can, we write them together so that there is no space in between. So, I cannot play football shows inability and the modal verb cannot is helping us to show that inability in the present. Now, if we say grandfather can run 10 kilometers even at this age, the modal verb can is showing an ability to do something in the present. But if we say Grandfather could run 10 kilometers when he was young. The modal verb could is showing an ability to do something in the past. So can is showing as an ability to do something in the present and could is showing as an ability to do something in the past. Harish could play football when he was young. So, could is a modal verb which is used to show an ability in the past. He could play football when he was young. And if we say Harish could not play football, could not is the modal verb which is showing us the inability of Harish to play football when he was young. So, could not is telling us about an inability in the past. So, could is telling us about an ability in the past and could not is telling us about an inability in the past. Now, remember that could does not always necessarily mean an ability in the past. For example, in this sentence, if I had wings, I could fly. This along with if is showing us a conditional ability. If I had wings, I could fly. So could is not referring to something in the past. So could can refer to an ability in the past or could could refer to a conditional ability. As in this sentence also, if you could pack some sandwiches, we could go on a picnic. So, could is working with if to show a conditional ability. If you could pack some sandwiches, we could go on a picnic. Yesterday, I could lift the sack by myself. In this case, could is telling us about something which he could do only yesterday, a momentary ability. 
in such a case could cannot be used so could cannot be used in positive sentences to describe a momentary or a one time ability could can be used in negative sentences to describe a momentary or one time ability so our sentence yesterday i could lift the sack by myself is not correct and it does not portray the correct meaning but we can say yesterday i could not lift the sack by myself so could is not used to express a momentary or a one time ability in positive sentences we can use could not in negative sentences to express a one time ability he could have come with us for the movie so could have is the modal verb here and if we say he would have come with us for the movie if he did not have his exams in this case would have is the modal verb here so what is the difference between could have and would have could have tells us that somebody had the ability but did not do it so he could have come with us for the movie so somebody did have the ability to come with them for the movie but he did not and when we say he would have come with us for the movie if he did not have his exams would have is showing us that he had the ability but a condition what was the condition his exams but a condition restricted his ability so he would have come if he did not have his exams now that you have seen the various uses of could can would to show ability let us try to do this exercise fill in the blank with the appropriate modal i dash visit my grandparents this summer as i will be attending a nature camp then so in the summer this child will be attending a nature camp so what can be our correct answer here let us first see the options given cannot could not could so can we say i could not visit my grandparents this summer as i will be attending a nature camp then could not cannot be used because here if we write could not it would mean an ability in the past but we know that she is talking about the future because she is saying i will be attending a nature camp then so could not is not the correct answer can we say i could visit my grandparents this summer as i will be attending a nature camp then no we cannot say could because it is not making any sense so the correct answer is i cannot it is showing the inability of this girl i cannot visit my grandparents this summer as i will be attending a nature camp then fill in the blank with the appropriate modal mary started late from home but she did not find any traffic jam on the way so she dash reach the airport on time what are the options given to us can could not could let us put the various options and see can we say mary started late from home but she did not find any traffic jam on the way so she can reach the airport on time can we use can in this sentence we know that mary started late from home is talking about the past and we know that can 
usually refers to an ability in the present. So we cannot use can in this case. Can we use could not? Let us see. We know that Mary started late from home, but she did not find any traffic jam. So she could not reach the airport on time is not making sense. It is meaning the opposite thing. So we cannot use could not. So the correct answer is Mary started late from home but she did not find any traffic jam on the way. So she could reach the airport on time. So what did we learn today? We learned that the models can is usually used to show ability in the present and could is usually used to show ability in the past. Now could can also be used to show a conditional ability or abilities in the future. Today we have learnt about the various modal verbs that show ability and we will soon learn about others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.